Welcome to this Mastery Empowerment course brought to you by New Earth One. When we're talking about living vibrantly in higher self connection, this is the way to New Earth and it is a way to New Earth Empowerment. And my guest today, our course instructor, is Dr. Richard London. He has six doctorates and he assists business people from a multi-dimensional level, truly connecting from within to express our authenticity and our passion in our world. Let's welcome Dr. Richard London to this course. Hello, Richard. Hello, Lauren. Let's welcome all the listeners as well. Yes. And all the listeners as well, because each one of us plays a crucial role in this new earth time. New earth is here. It's emerging. And what we're talking about here is this higher self connection. It is truly the voice within and it is the guidance that brings new earth. Can you share your thoughts with us on that, Dr. London? Yeah, in this new earth, what I've realized, it's really about empowering the inner divine heart. And that's really, really important. Empowering the inner divine heart. Because, you know, people have been seeking empowerment for so many, 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 many years. So... I'm going to pass some secrets, some important secrets. So have you ever, listeners, have you ever written your life story down on paper? Did you ever write your life story down on paper, Lauren? Yes, and it wasn't easy at first, and I continue to write pieces that you get better at it, but it wasn't easy at first. Okay, how many pages did it turn out to be? Oh, my goodness. Well, um, maybe... Gosh, five or ten. Okay. So when I wrote my life story, it turned out to be a half a page. And that's a good thing because the smaller the story, the happier the life. The larger the story, the more complicated and the heavier your life is. So it's, it's just you're carrying this baggage yes. with you. And that robs you of your, your ability to empower. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to give your listeners an exercise. And it's a really important one. So take your life from the age of five years old to 13 and write down the positive events that altered and changed your life and then the negative events that altered and changed your life. So you start with 5 to 13. Then you do the same thing from 14 to 21. 22 to 35 and 35 to present. Yes. And so what you'll find out, you'll find out how heavy your baggage is. Yeah. I've done this with thousands of people. As little as one page and as little as 60 pages. Imagine. And so if you have a 60-page story, it could, parts of it could be really beautiful. But is it going to empower you? No. It can't. Because all empowerment is really about a vibration that's light. If you would take the highest vibration and weigh it, it weighs next to nothing. Yeah. But if you took 60 pages of your story and put it on a scale, the scale probably would be moved to its maximum. Yeah. And so to seek really empowerment, change your story 
change your life. Yes. And remember, your listeners out there, if you don't like the way that your life was, you can rewrite it. Have you ever known anybody who read, wrote their entire life? Lauren? No, not their entire life. Yes. So I've had clients, we wrote their entire life. Yeah. From the time they were birthed to where they were at that particular time, they rewrote their life. But here's the secret. I have the power to place that new life in the person's Akashic records. So many people, listeners, I'm sure many of you are listeners, even myself at some time of life, I've gone to psychologists, psychiatrists, and so forth to get another opinion. And so they want you to get better. But you have to get better inside, outside, and then inside and outside your original soul. And that original soul, guess where it is? It's in the Akashic Records, waiting for you to be the authentic version of your soul. Doesn't that sound beautiful? To be the authentic version of your soul. And this is the new earth. Every listener out there, God, the universe, whatever you believe, it wants you to be the authentic version of your soul. Because it's like, Lauren, do you have favorite shoes? Yes. Yes, right. I do. Yes. So being the authentic version of your soul is like being in your favorite sh shoes every second of your life. But also, those are magic shoes. Remember the Wizard of the Oz? It was really interesting. That program is more, that movie is, what, more than 50 years old? But it had big messages in it. A lot of spirituality in it. Yes. And one of the big messages were that every listener has the capable of stepping into magical shoes. But here's the difference. The shoes are not really magical. Guess who becomes magical? Lauren. Dr. London, all the listeners. Real empowerment is about reaching a state where you co-create with God. Imagine co-creating with the source. Yes. And so if you listeners don't know what the source is like, it's this beautiful, beautiful energy that radiates sounds and radiates numbers. So, Lauren, what's your favorite number? 11. 11. So, 11 is a 2, which 1 and 2 is you're on a spiritual path, which you know. So, a lot of the people in the world love 3-3. Three, three. So, what really they love is 3-3-3. Three, three, three which is nine. So when your numerology is nine, you're on an ultimate mission to do an open, ultimate thing in your life. And also, guess what? Mathematically, you're using vibrant energy exponentially. Yes. So 333, 333, 333, you say it nine times, and it creates this vibrant energy. Yes. Everything in life, have you ever seen an ugly flower? No. Do you know why? Because it has this vibrance. Yes. Have you ever, have you ever received a rose and then dried it and saved it? Even when it's dried, it has a vibrance. 
Yes. So you want to live a you want to live a vibrant living because it vibrates at a higher level. And in vibrating at a higher level, what happens? You start to co-create with God little by little by little. And I'm going to give your listeners, I like giving human examples. So my wife was away on vacation. I was bored. So we have a department store just a block away from us. I went into it with a mask, listeners. And I'm looking to buy a new bedspread. So I'm looking at all the bedspreads, nothing. So instead of giving up, I went back the second day. And guess what happened? The universe created the perfect bedspread for me. Imagine my new bedspread is like ocean waves. Can you imagine? I've never seen a bedspread in my entire life that reminds you of ocean waves. But here's the important thing. It's what I, my soul, desired. My soul wanted a bedspread that would remind me by the ocean. I don't live by the ocean. Yes. And it wasn't there because I went through every bedspread in the department. So imagine you having these inner desires and the universe creates it for you. I was telling a client about that story and she found a favorite bedspread that she wanted that cost hundreds of dollars. And she didn't want to spend the money for some reason. And so she walked in a secondhand store. There was the bedspread. She had it dry clean and she bought it for $1. So let's talk about that because that's fascinating. All right. When you said, say, 333, three, three, that's my new favorite number now, too, by the way. Okay. I think uh, we'll all try that one out for you. Yeah. So we say 333, three, three, it's a nine, and it's um, something for humanity, right? Something for the good of all, the next yeah. evolution. So then that's going to help us vibrate higher, simply vibrating higher. That's a pretty cool tool. So is that what happened in the store? And did the not wanting to spend money, obviously that wasn't negative enough, negative enough to cause it to shut it down. Right. Because it wasn't about money. It okay. must have been about priorities. But her soul had the priority of this bedspread. And so, listeners, your soul's priority always outwins your mind. Yes. Your soul and your heart really knows best. Yeah. All right. Well, I've heard this before from someone. Go shopping for your soul right. and pay attention. And that's when it gets really fun. We wouldn't think that our soul would want us to go shopping, but it's been, it comes in the form of hiking boots and it gets us out into hiking and nature more or things like that, right? Things that bring us joy. I would love your bedspread, too. I think all of us want an ocean bedspread. Those babies, yeah. those ocean babies. <laughs> yeah. I'll take a picture of it and send it to you. Yeah. My, my wife just got back from vacation. And so when she's on vacation, she asked me to send her a lot more money. And so I send her <laughs> okay. the money because I wanted her to have a better time. So listeners out there. All of you who are maybe struggling with money, money really has only one purpose. And that's really to benefit others and your soul at the same time. Being of service to others creates great wealth. So the richest people in the world in the future, listeners, will be women. Yes. And it will be women because they will be living vibrant lives. 
Yes. Because their DNA is changing from carbon-based to crystalline energy at a very rapid pace. So let me explain the difference. Your original energy of every living thing on earth was crystalline energy. Then, due to an experiment, our DNA was changed to carbon-based. And so, when you're trying to date something, the age of something ancient, you do carbon-based dating. And so, in, in carbon-based DNA, you have a beginning and you have an end. When you become crystalline, 100% crystalline DNA, there's a beginning, but guess what? There is no end. Yes. Crystalline energy gives you a form of real immortality. Yes. Because you become fifth dimensional, and in becoming fifth dimensional, you become the authentic version of your soul. And then for you listeners who believe in reincarnation, when you come back, you come back in the highest form. No lessons, no karma, no stuff, no bad experiences. And guess what? Your story is light as a feather. Imagine having a story light as a feather. And so that story is going to be, your whole life is going to be light as a feather. Do you know why? You're an angel. Yes. Angels are light as a feather. Yes. Have you ever, have you ever walked someplace and a feather fall right in your hand? Or Yes. Yes. And you know what that is a symbol of? Yes. An angel is telling you that you're being recognized and you're being honored. Yes. So this new earth and this new earth empowerment, it's about honoring ourself. Yes. First, honor yourself. And then in honoring yourself, guess who's going to honor you? The universe, your children your work, your employees. Hmm? Everyone is going to honor you. Because empowerment is really about getting rid of all your neediness. Do you remember when you were young in high school, you needed a boyfriend? Yeah. Did you need a boyfriend when you were in high school, Lauren? Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. I didn't have one. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. But you needed one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it was just part of your energy at that particular time. But now, yeah, when you're still a teenager, yeah, because your soul is really young, you really don't need anything. And because you don't need anything, guess what? You're really empowered. Yes. How can anybody be empowered consistently if they're needing something? Now, we need food. I agree. We need air to breathe. But needing love, needing money, needing peace, harmony, no. When you don't need it, you become all those things. So, Lauren Gailey can be empowerment. Imagine a person being the embodiment of empowerment. No one even goes to that place. Yeah. See, everybody's always looking externally for the solutions. When you were, when you were young, we didn't, we didn't have the internet, right, Lauren? So we look for solutions in books, yes. 
Now the real solutions, it's inside. Yeah. And so today we're really talking about developing your inner power and this vibrance that is laying there. So how, how big can a heart vibrate? It can literally move a mountain with its vibration. Change the direction of the ocean. Change the direction of the largest lake. Yes. It has that kind of capability. But most people don't look at themselves as having that kind of capability. Guess why? Okay. So we've all had to wear masks when we go out now. What is wearing a mask really about? It's really covering up our voice. Yes. It's covering up our voice. So this is the time where you need to express your voice. Like Lauren and I are online. Yeah, we can express our voice. We don't have to wear a mask. Yeah. Get online, listeners. Listen. Yes. And develop this big voice. I remember when I first met you, Lauren, how many years have you been doing what you're doing? Mm, we're coming up on 15 years. Yeah. So your voice was little. Yeah. Now your voice, it's as large as the moon. Yeah. But here's the difference too. It's a silent, powerful voice. Because now you're using your, vi your vibrance that you've developed and your wisdom from your heart and your soul, and you're using that to guess what? So, listeners, what are Lauren and I doing? We're transforming your life. We're not motivating you. We're transforming you. And that's done with vibration. So when you develop your vibration, guess what you're going to be able to do? You're going to be able to transform your life and then transform the lives of everybody around you and transform the lives of your clients, your workers. Yes. As I told listeners last time, and I'm telling them again, there's so many opportunities. 90% of all businesses are going to be home-based businesses. 90%. 10% is going to be bricks and mortars. So you have... Millions of opportunities to develop bi businesses in wellness, in spirituality, in the environment, in education. I see most of education going online. Yes. And so is that going to be better? Yes. New educational system, one of the major ingredients is about developing what you and I are talking about at a young age. Imagine a five-year-old child, and you do see some ch children who have this spiritual vibrance at a young age. I did. But imagine creating millions and hundreds of millions of children who have this wisdom at five, six, seven, eight years old. Because the problem with the educational system in the world is you had so many people's opinion, judgment, and, uh, and assumptions of how a child should be educated. Same way with humans. The fr Do you remember the first time your mother said no to you, Lauren? You know what she did when she said no? She domesticated you. 
Yes. Humans and animals are not supposed to be domesticated. We're supposed to have this wild spirit seeking great wisdom, seeking great vibration, changing the world, seeking solutions. So in the new online world, you're not going to see teachers who are going to say no to the child. They're going to say, what would you do? Yeah. How would you change the world? If you really want to know how to change the world, ask the children. They know. Yes. But they're not allowed to express themselves with this big voice. So imagine being five years old and having this big, giant voice. So when I was five years old, adults always listened to me. Yeah. Because I had great things to say. Really great things. So we really hit on a key. If Listeners, if you have children or grandchildren, you want them to be internally creative, to create with their heart and their soul, not their mind, not to overthink things, not to create this big, big, giant, heavy story of their life. You want them to have a story that's light as a feather. That's empowerment. And that's what empowerment really looks like. Yeah. Is your life and everything you do becomes light as a feather. I did not put that much effort in in finding this bedspread that had the energy of the ocean and the waves of an ocean in it. The only thing I had to do was, and this is going to be a big message for your listeners, allow, 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 allow. So, three, 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 again. Yes. You have to allow. Allow the universe to help you. Allow your soul to open up to love. So many people are looking for soulmates now. Do you know why? Because every human being who is not with someone, they have five to eight soulmates from past lives wanting to be with them. How do you like that? Why do you think they created the internet and all these dating sites? It helps expand the ability for people to bring the energy of these soulmates into their lives. So if you want more wealth, if you want more love, Allow, 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 allow. Yes. If you went to God and you, and, and you said to God, I didn't get this in life, I didn't get this in life, God would say, oh, you never allowed it to happen. And the person might say, I didn't know I had to allow it. Now you know you have to allow it. Yeah. If you're not seeing things show up in your life, you're not allowing it. Yeah. When you were growing up, did you see a lot of miracles being created by your family? Um, on certain occasions. Okay. Give me an example. Really, but not really, no. Give me an example of a miracle you saw. Um, we were at the crossroads of a light and we decided to not go to this new campground. We decided to just go to something familiar. It was late and we, the, um, that campground, had we have gone there, would have been washed out by the right. Big Thompson River flood. Yeah, that, and that's what I saw. And so, listeners, that was her family listening to not their brain, but their soul's intuition. So 
your soul has divine intuition. Your brain doesn't have divine intuition. Even though people say that it does, it doesn't. Your soul and your heart has divine intuition because you remember me telling you about the nine chambers of the heart. So there are nine chambers of your heart that really control your existence. And so listeners, let's look at a little logic, okay? If you're going to allow anything to control your life, it's not going to be your husband, it's not going to be your wife, it's not going to be your children, it's not going to be your dog. It's going to be your heart and your soul. Yes. Doesn't that feel right? Yes. Yes. Your heart and your soul are the most comfortable shoes you can ever put on in your life. Your head, forget it. It's going to fool you. It's going to confuse you. It's going to cause all this emotion. So here's an important point. Everyone wants to be empowered. Yes. So what stops you from being empowered? Guess what? Emotional triggers. Yes. Everybody's addicted to anything. Food, sex, uh, alcohol, drugs, internet. It's our emotional triggers that really, really, really take away our ability for our heart and our soul to function correctly. And guess what triggers all those emotional triggers? It's not our heart. It's not our soul. Yep. It's our ego in our brain. Yeah. She doesn't love me because she didn't do that. He doesn't love me because he, he did this. Yes. Yep. So, in the new earth, it's not the time to be a prisoner to our brain. Yeah. It's not time to be a prisoner to anything. It's a time for us to create this vibrant living style. And what does the style look like? It's you're creating everything that you would like. I'm sure, Lauren, you collect uh, shoes, purses. Do you have a, a weakness in this life for certain things? Not shoes and purses, though. I'm a crystal person. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. How many crystals do you have? Oh, my goodness. I was just hearing today that I need to get out and bury some of them. Okay. Uh, I must have... Um, between 500 and 600. Okay. So let's do an experiment. All Lauren right. Gailey has 500 or 600 crystals. Imagine your heart and soul made up of tens of thousands of crystals. In a way it is because in your true form, you're made of crystalline energy. You're one big giant crystal. Yeah. Imagine you finding this beautiful crystal as big as you are. And so beautiful and so breathtaking. That's who you really are. We're all just a big giant crystal. Yeah. Yeah. But we're just not recognizing that, that beauty that is within us. And so, listeners, you're allowed to be rich. You're allowed to have five cars, ten cars, a hundred purses, a thousand purses. But the thing you need to do is you need to be of service to humanity. Yes. And you have to be on the divine way path. The divine way path is really the key to empowerment because it's the same path 
that the angels are on. And I mean, I've heard thousands of times that people say, I'm on my path. What path is that? So if you had to choose the yellow brick road, the path of empty wealth, or the divine way path, there's really no choice. The divine way path. Because it really leads you where you want to be. We all really want to be angelic in some way. Yeah. But in this nice human body. Angels don't need money. They don't need happiness. They don't need love. Because they are an embodiment of all the things that humans desire. So there could only be one path. I didn't invent the path. The path has always existed. Yeah. You want to be like an angel. Yeah. When your children were born, when you looked at them, you said, oh, you're so beautiful like an angel, right? Yeah. But she was saying the truth. All children, they're angels. Yeah. And then we get to the cognizant age, about 11 and 13, and then we have to develop this new connection with source. Yeah. We have to find self again. Now, guess what? You don't have to find yourself. That crystalline energy is inside of you. Every human being on earth, your carbon-based DNA is changing. Yeah. And you're listening to Lauren and you're listening to these mastery classes because what do these classes do? And what do people like Lauren and I do? We move you forward. Energetically, we move you forward. Yes. If you are able to see the energy that is being created as Lauren and I are talking, it could literally lift the mountain. Yes. And you can feel that energy. All you have to do is do a little work. Yes. Yes. And why? Why do I have to do work? Can't I just sit in my house and eat ice cream all day, and I automatically become on the divine way path. Because that's not the order of the universe. The universe rewards us for our efforts. Yes. When you were a little kid, and you did something great, how were you rewarded? What did you get? An ice cream candy? <laughs> what is it you got? Uh, like a stuffed animal. Stuffed animal. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And so reward yourself. Yeah. Educate yourself. Get on the divine way path. People like myself and Lauren, we help people move them on the divine way path. And then we have the wisdom to guide them to becoming fifth dimensional. I have a program called Automate Your Life. And I gave it that mainstream name. What it really means is getting your life for the first time, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, in order. Yeah. And then you could be the authentic version of your soul. How many of us have seen people lost? Yes. And why are they lost? Because... They never looked well enough inside of them. I've never met an ugly person. There's beauty in every living thing. Yes. And you need to recognize that beauty. And you need to work on yourself inside, outside. In Lauren's New Earth Mastery programs, they help you work on inside, outside. Yes. And then I take it a step forward and I'm able to reverse the stuff 
all the negative stuff that's in your Akashic records. Actually, you may or may not know it, but I can take a person's life plan, rewrite that entire life plan, and then place the new life plan in your Akashic records, and it then becomes your way and your divine life. How do you like that? Yes. And why? Why are we able to do it now? We're able to do it now because we live in a world of a different vibration. Yeah. Lauren's parents, my parents, they lived in a world, we call it a fatalistic world. Yeah. Pardon the friends, but shit just happens. Yeah. That's the life people lived in. Now, guess what? You can create every life that you would like. So in the 15 years that you've been doing what you've been doing, if you look at your life, your life probably now is phenomenal, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, but guess who's the phenomenal person? You are. Yes. It took the work. It took the work. Yeah. You are the instrument. You are the instrument of your life. Your heart and your soul and that crystalline energy is the in instrument of your whole beingness. Yeah. So, you know, vibrant living, I would like to see every listener start educating themselves. You want this summer. You want this summer to be a summer of joy and a summer of love. So, when you were 16, did you ever cruise? I cruised on my bicycle. <laughs> no, I didn't go on a cruise. No, no, no. I meant, did you ever oh, in cruise? Cars? In cars. I'm not that old. <laughs> okay. I cruised so, on my bicycle. <laughs> okay. She cruised on her bicycle. That's a great start. So I could remember cruising in my friend's 59 pink convertible Cadillac. Yes. And we're actually sitting low in the seats. And what is it? They have the, this, what is it, bobbleheads? Do you remember the toy, the bobbleheads? Uh-huh. <laughs> Cruising, you were at like bobbleheads. And like we're, the movie American Graffiti. Yeah, we're, yeah. Nodding, we're nodding to everyone. Okay. <laughs> yes. But listeners, that was a good feeling. There was no worry, no stress, no pressure. And so we live in a different world in the 21st century. But can you recreate that atmosphere in your own life? Absolutely, in your own home. Why don't you sit on your couch and pretend you're in your favorite convertible car and you're driving down the ocean and you're seeing people on the sand and all you're doing is you're nodding your head and you're acknowledging everything. And this is an important step, is acknowledging. Most people miss the majority of their life. Do you know in third world countries, people waste as much as 60, 70, 80% of their life because they're not noticing, they're not acknowledging. Yes. So one of the keys to empowerment, every place you go, notice. Yes. Talk to people. Yes. You could talk to people through a mask now. Yeah. And you could talk to people through a, a distance. Yeah. So empowerment in this new earth in the 21st century is wonderful. Because it's coming from the best place. You're learning to empower yourself from your heart and soul and not from your brain. Yeah. I, I, when, when I was young, people were always impressed with people who were smart. Everybody in the world knows Albert Einstein. Yes. So listeners, 
Albert Einstein was brilliant. Yes. He had horrible social skills. Yes. But the one thing he and I and Lauren have in common and with the common with probably most of the listeners, he believed there was something bigger than himself. Imagine one of the greatest scientists in the world, and he believed that there existed something bigger than himself. And do you know why he believed it? And nobody has ever told anybody why. Because mathematically it made sense. Yeah. So if we look at everybody's life and put a numerical value to it, so let's take a life here. We add up the numbers, and it's a 100 life. And then we add up the numbers of somebody who's done the work, and it's a 10,000 life, then a 100,000 life, then a million life. You can choose any of those mathematical existences. Yes, because you are the creator. Your heart and your soul can create anything that it desires. Why and how? Allow, allow, allow. You allow it to happen. Yes. So all this empowerment world that we're living in, it is complicated, but you can make it pretty simple in, in your own life. So, And, and let's talk a little bit about the allow, the allow, the allow. Because that one can go deeper. It really means no judgment. It could be like, it, this is really a state of beingness that we're yes. talking about. A state of beingness. And so, for example, when we allow, that means we're not judging the outcome. If we decide to go down to the store, the mall where you were to buy a bedspread and we don't see it, we don't get angry or frustrated, we just leave. And it was interesting that you went back to the store. Yes, um, be, again, because- I, It's no judgment. Because my soul- Otherwise you could have said, you could have said, well, your, your mind, your logic would have said that it's not there. So what caused you to listen go back, to go back to the store? Because my soul told me to look a bit deeper for the hidden treasure. Yes. And so we, we all have the capability of finding our hidden treasures in life. Yes. And so allow, allow, allow. It's really about creating the sound and the vibrational energy with the number so it exponentially creates and co-creates with source. So people don't allow because... They're afraid. Yes. They're afraid to be loved. Do you know, there are millions of people in the world that are afraid to be rich. Yeah. Imagine, when, when my children were little, I went to the store and I got them each, how much was it? $10,000 in $100 bills. That's 100 $100 bills. And they took it in their room and they threw it up in the air and they played with it. Yes. Yes. So what did they learn? They learned that wealth can be fun. Yes. And joyful. Then as they got older, they learn that it can buy things. Yeah. But money really doesn't buy things. Yes. It allows you to enjoy that thing. Lord, you know that nobody in the world owns anything in reality. We're all just using. Yeah. We're using our cars. We're using our houses. Yes. So... We need money, and the world is really abundant now. 
90% of all the business are going to be home-based businesses. Your heart and your soul has the vibrant energy to create whatever it is you desire in your life. And working on yourself, being on the divine well way path, becoming fifth dimensional, what does it do? It eliminates all the neediness. All the neediness. Yeah. So Albert Einstein, one of the most brilliant scientists, believed that there was something bigger than himself. And it's because mathematically it made sense. Mathematically, it makes sense for you to want to be an angel. Mathematically, it makes sense for you to do the work. Mathematically, it makes sense that it can lead to all your desires. Yeah. What's the greatest thing that you've wanted in your lifetime that you've already attained it? Oh, my goodness. Uh, as a young adult, I wanted so badly to be a news journalist, and I was. Okay. But do you see what she's really saying? She's still a journalist. Yes. Ah. But she's a journalist at a much higher level. And see, journalists write the words down, and then they're typeset, and they're put in newspapers. And that's one form. The difference now, believe it or not, is Lauren's words have more power. Because they don't need to be typeset. Yeah. All she needs to do is express them. And then guess what? It transforms a person's life. So what, it, what has she become? Lauren Gailey has become the divine journalist. Yeah. Empowering people with divine words and her voice. I've talked to a lot of people. Everybody likes your voice. Yeah. They say it's very soothing, but it's really divine. Yeah. So that's what you can do in every area of your life. You know, we don't want you to be like Richard or Lauren. We want you to be the authentic version of your soul and be everything you want to be. Have you ever had a friend or a family member who had an artist's soul? Yeah. So we have an earth where there are millions of artists' soul. Artists' souls are very creative, very sensitive. And so they're subject to addictions. They're subject to not being on the divine way path. But if they can be placed on the divine way path, they grow as an artist exponentially. Yeah. You know, you don't want to be Picasso. You don't want to be Rembrandt. You don't want to be Gauguin. You don't want to be Chagall. You want to be you. Yeah. The fullest expression of who and what you could be in this lifetime. Yes. And that's, that's why Lauren's doing the sh show. She wants people to be the best version of their soul. Yes. And, it, and so, did I tell you the story? And it's really important that I share it. Is when I was a teenager, 13 years old, because of my vibrational energy, all the plants would grow, all the flowers would grow. I had like a big giant green thumb. So I was selected to be future farmer of America. How do you like that? And I was being honored at an event. I'm 13 years old, sitting there, and I said to myself, I don't want to be a farmer. That's boring. I just want to be me. So the reality is I'm the most profound farmer in the world today 
because I'm placing germinated seeds in everyone's human soul. How do you like that? So as Laura and I have been talking, I've been placing germinated seeds. I'm a farmer. Yes. And I never wanted to be a farmer. But being the best version of myself, I became this great farmer. And nicely enough, the seeds that I place in the people's hearts and souls, they always germinate. I've never had a seed that did not germinate. It might take longer for someone to become aware of it. So, you people out there, how about becoming a spiritual farmer? Yeah. Have you ever heard anybody use that term before, Lauren? A spiritual farmer? No. But isn't it exciting to live your life and you're planting seeds that germinate? Yeah. So it's probably the most prolific response to my life sitting there at 13, not wanting to be the farmer, and then I grow up to be one of the most profound farmers on the earth because every time I speak, I'm planting seeds that germinate. In the, and they germinate in the right place in the heart and soul of people. Yes. So. Yes, that is beautiful. And it's beautiful to see that you really stepped into that. And listening to you and watching you, we are just uh, lifted from worries and uh, struggles. And that's part of the work that you do as well. It's quite multidimensional, the, 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 the verbiage, the words that you speak. And, and we love that. We're bathing in that right now. Thank you. Yeah, it, we, we all have these words we want to express in life. But when I express the words... They connect with humans, but they're connecting at the same time with all the highest beings that exist in all the other ethereal plane and all the other universes. So we're actually, we're all here. And I want to share something else with the listeners that I think it will help them move in their life. When I was a little boy, four years old, I created this theory called the paper doll theory. So did you ever play with paper dolls when you were a little girl? Yeah. So my sisters were playing with paper dolls. And I go, oh, everything's connected. And then I started seeing every human being when I would walk. We're all connected. I'm connected to the houses. I'm connected to the trees. And so... From, from the age of about four years old, I lived in this paper doll worry, world. Yes, where we're all connected. And yes, we are connected. And I can tell, Lauren can shut her eyes and she really feels connected to everything. Do you not? Everything. Imagine, I do as well. Yes. I'm connected to every tree, every house, every car, everything that exists on earth. But then I'm connected to all the ethereal beings. And believe it or not, all the angels, all the archangels, all the ascended masters, all the beings of the seventh ray, they're here. Yes, as Lauren and I are talking. Yes. And they're pushing this vibration and they're helping these seeds to germinate wherever you are in the world. You have listeners as far as where? Oh my goodness, we have them all over the world in South Africa and Europe and Australia, New Zealand, Hong Kong. Yes, all over the world. Yes, so listeners, she has these listeners all over the world. We're all connected. Yes, we're all connected. And so if you could connect with all living thing, then guess what? 
you can easily connect to your heart and your soul and allow your heart and soul to be empowered. Yeah. And allow your story to be light as a feather. Allow your life to be happy, to be joyful, to be filled with divine love. Use the word divine love a lot because the only love that really is in the purest form is divine love. Yes. Lauren and I are sharing divine love with all the listeners in the world. Yes. And that's the form of vibrant living, a vibration of your crystalline energy, of who your authentic soul is. Yes. We're here to constantly learn, to constantly share. And guess what? To have a lot of fun. Yeah. To laugh. Yes. When I finish this show, I'm going to eat my ice cream. I'm going to eat my cookies. Yeah. <laughs> and my soul's going to be really happy. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's in divine love on the divine path that you share sessions and hold space for people to work with you one on one. It's this um, the seeds that you're germinating to offer support for those who want to live in this way and fully be anchored there and speak in their divine voice and speak in the voice of the heart and the voice of the soul. So those are personal sessions with you. Thank you for that. But I want to let everyone know that you're going to do a live webinar. And yes. tell us about what this webinar is about. That's fun for people to spend more time with you. Well, the, the live, the, this live we webinar is really about giving you real concrete tools so you can move yourself from where you are to where you really want to be. And to many people that sounds impossible, but believe it or not, because of mathematics, one and one is always two. So I give you the steps that mathematically and in practical and logical allow you to move, say, from a space of having no wealth to a place of having wealth, a place from not feeling love to a place from being love, from a place of having no joy or gratitude to a life filled with joy and gratitude. And so that all these solutions are really big, complex mathematical equations. And what I'm able to do, use logic, practicality and spirituality and vibration and give you these step-by-step -step processes that you can use day in and day out. Example, when I, in the beginning of the show, I told you, you can take your life from five to 13, from 14 to 21, from 22 to 35 and then from 36 to present. And in doing that, you see how heavy, how light your life is. Then we can rewrite. You'll learn how to rewrite your life. If you're really unhappy with your life, let's just rewrite it in a positive manner. Once it's rewritten in a positive manner, then you can move forward. Yes. Because it really becomes real because you've changed the mathematical weight. Yeah. So not many people look at their lives based on how heavy their life is. But if you really look at based at numbers and weight, yeah. So spending time in a real course with me or having me personally work with you and having your life automated and being fifth dimensional, it brings you to this place 
where you really always have been, but you've forgotten how to go back to that place. Yeah. Every, everything is a full cycle. When I was a little kid, there was this program that had a pit bull on it. And I thought I wanted to have a pit bull when I was a little boy. And so two years ago, the universe, this pit bull saw me, ran to me, told me, you're my daddy and I'm going to live you through for the rest of my life. And his name is Angel. I never, ever thought that the cycle would come back. Yes. And this is what we, we want to create in our life. And this new earth is about. We want to create the life our, our soul really want it. Whether or not we, we want it at the age of five or the age of 13 or 21 or 35. No matter what age you're at, if you're 50, 60, 70, 80 years old, having one year, five years of a divine life is more than equal 20, 30, 40, 50 years. So you've been doing what you're doing 15 years. You'll probably do it another 15, 20 years. Would you give up the experience of the 15 years? Never. Never. But now what you're doing is you're duplicating it and making the experience even better and better. Is that not correct? Yes. So I will be giving you real simple concrete tips that work in your life. And then also I'll be teaching you how to develop this vibration from your soul and from your heart to create it because without the vibration, it's not going to work. You have a car. Imagine having a car and not having an electric motor or a gasoline motor. If the car is light enough, it may move when it gets really windy, but it's really not going to take your place. So everything, all the wisdom that I possess, it doesn't belong to me. It's really God's wisdom. So I'm willing to, to basically teach everybody all the tricks of the trade. Imagine the law of attraction was a law that everybody was trying to use in the world from the secret. But there were nine other laws just as powerful. So you're taught how to use the nine other laws in this course. Imagine using 10 powerful natural laws all together. Yes it creates exponentially. And it's a lot easier to use 10 natural laws than one because it's supposed to be powerful. Yeah, and it works. So you want things to work in your life. Yes, me too. I live a life that is easy and effortlessly, everything I do. And so you'll learn how to create that easy and effortlessly spiritual existence in your own home, no matter where you live. Yes, positively. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And your wisdom uh, and your own experience of this and the thousands, the tens of thousands of hours that you've spent working with individuals one-on-one -on -one is testimony to you as this beautiful guide and the great success that you've had with people that you've worked with, some remarkable stories. So thank you for that. Um, create the life that your soul wants. What a beautiful program. And I just want to say that um, that is all on this webpage that we're viewing this on. We thank you for this introduction course to our topic today. It feels really good. And we vibrate from our hearts and we cultivate from our hearts. And so listening to this, listening to the call of the heart and the voice of the heart 
is the way. As we wrap up today, I wanted to ask about the crystalline uh, energy, the crystalline essence. I know there's questions from some that would say, what can we do to facilitate that or enhance it or bring it even faster online? Okay. So the majority of humans, whether or not you're male or female, you're your DNA is changing from carbon base naturally. What, what you can do is one of the easiest solutions, try to live in integrity. Yes. Crystalline energy is pure integrity. Yes. The more your integrity with yourself, in, it's about taking responsibility so Everything that happens from moment to moment in my life, I immediately take responsibility. Saying you're sorry and really mean it immediately, guess what it does? It allows this crystalline energy to form at a rapid pace because your soul is being integrous with who you really are. It's like, a person saying, oh, I'm honest on Monday, I'm honest on Sundays when I go to church, and then I'm dishonest Monday through Saturday. Yes. You can't and expect your crystalline energy, which is, which is your pure energy when you were created, before you had a human body. That's why it's so important. It's your actual DNA structure when you f were first created before you even had a human body. We were all just crystalline energy. And that's a neat thought that we were all just energy. And if we were all just energy, we were all connected. Yeah. And so whether or not you're a man or woman, whether or not you're a teenager, are you 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 years old? your DNA is changing into crystalline energy. And one of the easiest ways, do the work, listen to your soul, and be integrous with yourself in every aspect of your life. Yeah. And don't deprive yourself. Yeah. You can't be a sad child and a sad human and expect your crystalline energy to be moving at a fast pace. And the quicker working with me and having your life automated, if your crystalline energy is, say, 30%, when we finish the automation of your life, making you 5D, you become 100% crystalline energy. Yeah. Yeah. And so then you're able to create anything you want in your life and you can also help your family members, your friends. You can help them to create in their life. And guess what? This is an important thing. Crystalline energy is about being in the state of knowing. The state of knowing. So when you're 100% crystalline energy, you're in the state of knowing. Yeah. Imagine your child coming to you with a difficult mathematical problem and you never took that level of mathematics in your entire life. And guess what? You will know the solution. You don't need to know why you do, but you stay in a state of knowing because when you're in a pure crystalline energy, you know. Yeah. That's a pretty fun place to know. Yeah. Instead of always trying to seek the answers. Yeah. So it's a good direction, listeners, to want to go. Crystalline energy is the place to be. 100% crystalline energy. Yeah. I'm 100% crystalline energy. And how does it feel? Wonderful. Why do I do every, all these things 
that I do in life because I can. Yes. So the big message I want to leave everybody is you can. You can. You can. Everything is possible. Yeah. Lauren and I are showing you the way. Yes. All you have to do is know that you can and you will. Absolutely. Thanks, Lauren. Dr. Richard London, thank you so much. This has been a group session with everyone as we are feeling so much lighter and you really assist each of us with those seeds that you planted today within our hearts. And those will unravel for everyone as we follow the guidance of our heart and we live in integrity, bringing forward that pure crystalline essence. That is beautiful and that is new earth. And the world that awaits us is so beautiful. Sessions with Dr. Richard London are available, and we are including the course with a session as well if you'd like to uh, go for that bundle. Thank you so much for the advanced training and time with you that you're making available to the New Earth One audience. Dr. London, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are flying very high at this moment, feeling our essence. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Blessings to everyone.